Welcome friends. In this video, I will teach you how to make a cross section of any road using AutoCAD and SWDTM. Then let's start this video. To make a cross section of road, you first need the field data you have collected in the field. For example, you must have collected the field data in this following format for the labeling. Then after collecting this data, you have to arrange that data in the following format to draw cross section in the AutoCAD. Then how to then how to arrange this data in the following format? Then, then first of all in the first you have to make all together total four columns. In first column you have to write the chain is in second column you have to write the offset in third column you have to write the reduce level and in the last column you have to write the remarks. In the chain is you have to you have to write zero like like you have written in the field book zero plus zero zero then you have to then you don't have to write zero plus something after that plus you have to just write zero for example in the second data here zero plus zero one eight point three nine six then you then you don't have to write zero plus zero you have to directly write eighteen point three nine six and then after writing the chain is you have to write you have to begin to write the offset from the left side in the increasing order. For, for example, in this video, the uh, starting from the left offset, uh, we have to begin from the 15 in the increasing order like minus 15, minus 10, minus 6. We have to denote the left offset in negative format. So in the offset for the left side, for 15, we have to write minus 15. For 10 minus 10, minus, uh, for 6 minus 6. Then after writing in this way, you have to write the corresponding reduce level calculated in this table. Then after writing the reduce level of corresponding left offset after indicating the negative side in the second column, then you have to write the data for the middle, for the center line of road. And for the center line, the reduce level is. 1 to 99.788 so for 0 you have to write this RL then after writing the center line data then you have to begin to write the right offset data in the increasing order like 3 6 9 12 15 you don't have to write positive here because uh, the positive sign uh, doesn't need any sign to, uh, to be written in before any number then after this you have to write the corresponding reduce level in this way, you have to arrange. Then at last in remarks, you have to write the station name or that or that point name. Similarly, for the chain is eighteen point three nine six. You have to write the first left offset. Then after writing the left offset, you don't have to write here eighteen point three nine six. You have to just write a zero. And in the corresponding zero reading, you have to write the 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 center line reading of eighteen point three nine six. That is, our uh, one thousand nine hundred. Uh, one thousand two hundred ninety eight point one five nine. Then after writing the center line, you have to begin to write the right offset. In this way, you can write all the data. Then, then after writing all this uh, data in this format, you have to import this point to the AutoCAD using SWDTM software. For that, first you have to open the AutoCAD. Then you have to only open the SWDTM. Then after opening SWDTM, you have to select all this data in this way from the zero chain to the last chain. Then after selecting all this data in this way, uh, you have to open AutoCAD. Then you have to click on cross section. Then you have to click on draw L profile and the cross section. Then from you have to choose draw cross section. Then uh, it will display this type of dialog box then from here you have to choose at, at the beginning that uh, read file in the read file dialog box you have to click on this draw down drop down button then you have to choose from excel file then then uh, if you want to change the horizontal scale or vertical scale you can change from here and the number of rows and the column is the the format uh, in which it will be drawn in the AutoCAD. For example, in this case, the number of rows is four and number of column column is three. Then the 
all the cross section will be drawn in, uh, in the four rows and the three column and the row distance and column distance is 500 500 means the distance between two cross section in the row will be 500 and the column dis and in the column will be 500 then after all this you have to click on execute then after executing uh, you have to click on draw all then after clicking on uh, on a draw all you can see in autocad uh, mentioning a click a point as a origin then you can click any point uh, as the origin suppose I have clicked here then after clicking here it will draw all the cross section just uh, zoom out then you can see all the cross section all the total cross section are drawn drawn like here the number of ro rows is 4 then you can see here the number of rows is 1 2 3 4 and and the number of column is 3 then you can see number of column is 3 that's why the number of rows and column uh, was asked uh, previously and the row distance and column distance the row distance the row distance uh, is from this point to this point and the column distance is this point to this point in this way you can change the column distance and uh, row distance and you can change the you can change the arrangement of this cross section in the AutoCAD in this way in this way you can draw cross section of any road using reduced level uh, by using the SWDTM so so thank you <coughs> in this way you can draw the cross section of any road if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching my video thank you